One of the towns the Apostle Paul visited was Athens. Every day he went out and talked with anyone who happened along, especially the smart dudes who liked to discuss their opinions. Downtown Athens was the place where they liked to hang out, so Paul went there. Everywhere he looked, there were shrines and temples and statues for Ares, the god of war, Aphrodite, the goddess of love, Poseidon, the god of the sea, and so many others. He could have decided to set up a booth and wait for folks to come to him, but he had a great idea to go to them instead. I see how really religious you guys are, Paul said. He pointed to one statue labeled to an unknown god. This unknown god is the god I want to tell you about, Paul exclaimed. That got their attention. They loved discussions. Like Paul, the people of Athens believed that all of nature was no accident, that some unknown god must have done all this creating of rivers and trees and mountains and seas. Paul said it was what they called the unknown god who had done all the creating. Now Paul had their attention. Can you imagine them leaning in and nodding their heads at this wisdom? That's when Paul told them that the one God had revealed himself as Jesus, who lived and died and rose from the dead. When Paul told them about this, the people immediately broke into three groups. Those who laughed at him and walked off making jokes about Paul. Those who were curious to learn more, but some other day. And those who believed Paul's message of good news and were forever changed. A man named Dionysius and a woman named Damaris. If you had been in downtown Athens that day, which group would you have been in? The one that laughed at Paul? The one that was only curious? Or the one that was willing to take that leap of faith and believe?